Hello, hello, welcome. Hello, Daniela, how are you? Maria Jose, welcome. Lorena, it's a pleasure. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. Good evening. Okay, let's begin with the class. Okay, copiado Lorena, copiado. Give me a second. Vamos a mandar un mensaje. Ok, let's begin. Com comencemos ya, chicos. <coughs> Give me a second. Vamos a hacer algo por acá. Aquí estamos ya. Veanemos un segundito. Compartir audio. Voy en el bus. Eh, lo dejo. Ok, está bien. Ya copié. Ya le mandé, mandé el mensaje. Y ahorita comencemos con el, la plataforma. Ok. Section number two. We start today with section number two. Good evening, everybody, again. Good night, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hey, good evening, Saul. Welcome. Welcome to the class. Thank you. Uh, le quería comentar que todavía aún no ha hecho las, las, las tareas de la sección porque hasta hoy en la tarde me dieron acceso a la plataforma. Ah, va, está bien. Entonces, si gusta, después, después de la de, clase. Después de la clase me quiero quedar haciendo eso. No hay problema. Puedo hacer las de ahora y las de, de estos tres días, ¿verdad? No bueno, problem. bueno, gracias. Thank you. Okay, good, good. Let's continue, let's continue. So, the objective for today is, let me maximize, vamos a hacer lo más grande esto. Okay, by the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for talking about places in houses and apartments. So the vocabulary for tonight is houses and apartment, right? So let's start with the video number one. Let me see commentary for tonight. Mm, no, nadie me ha comentado todavía el video, ¿verdad? Bueno, tarde después. Listen, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you learned vocabulary for talking about places in houses and apartments. Let's get started by listening and repeating. House. The house has two floors, a garage, and a yard. The first floor has a living room, a dining room, a kitchen, a laundry room, and stairs to the second floor. The second floor has a hall, three bedrooms, and a bathroom. Every bedroom has a closet. Apartment. The apartment building has a lobby and an elevator. Every apartment has a living room, a kitchen, a dining room, a bedroom, a bathroom, and a closet. Now it's your turn to practice the vocabulary that we just heard. I would like for you to describe your home. Let me provide the following questions to help you do that. What rooms are in your house? 
what rooms are in houses in your country what rooms are in apartments in your country after you complete this exercise please share your work in our discussion forums okay guys listen here we can com share our, our commentary right you say add pause copy your name here and you can describe the rooms in your house what room do you have in your house do you have a living room do you have a garage do you have a kitchen okay so you can make commentary right this is the uh, vocabulary house and apartment now let's go to the next one in the next one uh, we are going to learn how to respond yes no questions in the simple present right ya vimos un poquito de las preguntas de sí y no pues hoy vamos a seguir trabajando para que quede clarito okay uh, additionally you will practice a conversation about an apartment which illustrates how this topic it is is used sorry in a real life setting okay aparte de de las preguntas de sí no yes no questions uh, vamos a practicar con una conversación ¿no? sobre un presente simple preguntas de información y cómo usar estas preguntas en la vida real in the real life setting right okay let's start with the video let's start immediately pay attention please where is it on Lakeview Drive oh where is it on Lake hi everyone in this class, you'll learn how to respond to yes or no questions in the simple present. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation about an apartment, which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation. My new apartment. This conversation illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's listen and practice. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? On Lakeview Drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Now, let's try to understand simple present short answers i would like for you to notice the chart on the screen do you live in an apartment yes i do no i don't do the bedrooms have windows yes they do no they don't does chris live in a house yes he does no he doesn't does the house have a yard yes it does no, it doesn't. We'll start on the left side of this chart. Let's look at the question, do you live in an apartment? The way we answer this type of question is by saying, yes, I do, or no, I don't. When responding to yes or no questions, we will typically answer in this way. It's important that we recall a rule that I explained a few lessons ago. The auxiliary to use when forming questions and short answers in the simple present is the following. For the pronouns, I, you, we, and they, do or don't. For the pronouns, he, she, and it, does or doesn't. Now, if you see the example, do the bedrooms have windows? Because we're talking about bedrooms, plural, we're going to use the pronoun they and the auxiliary do or don't. So the answer can be posited by saying, yes, they do. Or negative by saying, no, they don't. Let's analyze one more example. Does Chris live in a house? Because we're talking about Chris, singular, and third person, we're going to use the pronoun he and the auxiliary 
does or doesn't. So the answer can be positive by saying yes he does or negative by saying no he doesn't. Now it's your turn to practice by making yes or no questions and making short answers. Ask questions about the houses or apartments of your friends, relatives, and co-workers. Okay, okay. So here we have the explanation, right? How to use uh, yes, no question, right? Uh, and of course, you can add your post here. Pueden agregar sus comentarios acá con su nombre, right? And you can give me examples of using yes, no question, and short answer, right? Okay. Now, uh, I will make a review of the yes, no question. In the last presentation, right in la presentación anterior, pues, vimos um, el uso de, de las preguntas de sí, ¿no? Um, lamento que algunos no puedan abrir el archivo, eh, pero voy a enviárselos a su correo personal, ¿verdad? Vamos, solo me dan un tiempito ahí porque... Uh, tengo que lo mandar mandando uno por uno, ¿verdad? Así que va a costar un poquito, pero vamos a ver si, si se los envío por ahí en la noche, ¿sí? De momento tengo tres alumnos ahí en el WhatsApp que me dicen que no pueden abrirlo, ¿sí? Si hay alguien más, pues me dice, teacher, yo no puedo abrirlo, ese es mi nombre, ¿ok? Porque a veces no identifico los nombres en el, en el WhatsApp, no me aparecen sus nombres en el, en el grupo de WhatsApp, así que pongan, yo fulanito no puedo abrir el archivo, mándenme un correo, ¿sí? Ok. Good, let's continue, right? Ahorita vamos a... De todas formas, también eh, estos archivos quedan grabados aquí, ¿verdad? Y um, los, el, la grabación, pues, la pueden ver en la plataforma también, ¿verdad? De cualquier forma. Now, let's, let's start. Let me see. Where is the presentation? I lost it. Y me hace con... Um, Regálenme un segundito que... Según yo ya tenía la presentación. Ah, sí, aquí está. Ok. Regálenme unos segunditos, chicos. Voy a abrir la presentación que la tenía cerrada. Ok. Aquí estamos. Es la presentación de ayer, ¿verdad? Ahorita se la comparto. Ahí estamos. Ok. Aquí está la forma, eh, la fórmula, ¿verdad? Y vimos esta, esta vista general. Mientras ustedes ven esa lista, pues les voy a pasar la asistencia. Solo tengo dos mensajes acá que quiero ver. Dice... Uh, ya pudo abrir el documento, Jacqueline. Ajá, qué bueno. Me alegra muchísimo, Jacqueline. Uh, no estoy en el grupo de WhatsApp, dice Oscar Francisco. Mm, no puede ser, Francisco, porque ya me está escribiendo aquí. <ríe> si ya me escribió, Francisco, es porque ya, ya está agregado en el grupo. Así que no se preocupe. Ah, en el de Zoom. Eh, a, uh, Oscar. Ahora Dígame. Les envié los archivos para que usted los pueda abrir ahí. Pero, si Pero no... en... Ah, sí. Ya le entendí, ya le entendí, perdón. Sí, este es no, sí. sí es el de Zoom. Oso, sí. Vaya, este, <risa> hagamos una cosa, déjenme anotarlo aquí, Oscar. Ok. Yo, yo estoy perdido, ando cortando varas. Eh, <risa> no, no worry. <risa> no worry. Voy a mandar el mensaje para que lo agreguen en la otra semana el grupo de WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Los compañeros tienen okay. que... Al grupo, grupo WhatsApp. Es que tengo abierto un montón de archivos, incluyendo el WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Sí. Buen día, Oscar. Ok, voy a pasar al listado. Atención, please. Sofía. Sofía. Present. Teacher. Okay, welcome, welcome. Andrea? Present. Daniela? Daniela? Daniela, creo que me dijo que no iba a estar, me parece. Bueno. 
Eva? Present teacher. Ingrid Jamilet? Present teacher. Present. Bienvenida a la clase, Ingrid. Primer día, ¿verdad? Siempre estaba conectada, pero como voy en camino, este, no está Ah, vaya, entonces va a estar de oyente. Sí. ¿Le parece si le decimos Yamilet? Sí, está bien. Está bien, vaya. Cuando yo diga su nombre, se me envía un mensaje en el, en el chat. Porque estos días no, lo, no la he notado en la asistencia. Así que desde ahora en adelante lo voy a notar, pero por favor dígame presente, aunque sea un mensaje en el, en el chat. Oiga, por favorcito. Ok, y bienvenida al grupo. Eh, Vanessa. Vanessa García. Presente. Eh, Angie. Presente. Valmore. Palmore, David Madrid, Present teacher. Francisco, Juan Francisco, Present teacher. Catherine, Catherine Giselle, Present teacher. Kenia, I am here teacher, but today I have a problem with my camera because I'm not okay. here in my in my home, sorry. Okay, but, but you can participate, Kenya. You yeah, can I can. Oh, good, no problem. Thank you. Only no camera, right? Lilian Sarai? Lilian Sarai? Luis Ernesto? Margarita? Margarita? Beatriz? Ok, uh, let me see. Uh, Mirna. Present. Natalie. Present teacher. Ok. Oscar Francisco. I'm here, teacher. Good, welcome. Oscar Lisandro. Thank you. <laughs> okay, thank you. And Saul? Present, teacher. Vanessa? Vanessa Alejandra? Present, teacher. Good. Y Lorena y María José que se reportaron. Present. Todavía están de oyente, ¿verdad? No, no, ya estamos en casa. Ya están en casa. Ah, ok. Excelentoso. Hi, teacher. Hi, hello. Valmore. Welcome, Valmore. Present Soy Valmore. Sí, sí, ya lo noté ahorita en la asistencia. ¿Quién más me está hablando? Eh, Daniela. Daniela, ¿no? Thank you. Ok, you're welcome. Daniela, no. ¿Quién me acaba de hablar? Bueno, solo tengo ausentes a Daniela Michel. Nada más. Y Margarita Beatriz. Margarita Beatriz está por ahí. No, ¿verdad? Bueno. Si me está Sorry, en... teacher. Ah. Eh, yo no escuché mi nombre. No sé si me paso por ahí. ¿Cuál es su nombre? Eh, Jenny Margarita Maeda. Jenny. Claro que sí, ya la anoté, Jenny. Eh, solo que me dijo que iba a estar de oyente, ¿o no? Sí, sí, eh, sí. Este, pero yo no había escuchado mi nombre. Dije que se me sí, sí, es que iba a estar. Pero gracias, teacher. Eh, eh, me dijo que iba a estar de oyente, pero sí, está, ya tiene asistencia. Sí, sí. Oigan. Ok, gracias. No okay, problem, no problem. Solo tengo de ausente a Margarita Beatriz y a, a Daniela Michel, ¿verdad? Y de ahí Oscar Lisandro, que no se ha presentado, ni Lilian Saray. Ok, let's go to the class. Ok, listen. This is the structure, right? Aquí tenemos la estructura de, de las preguntas cortas con respuestas, no, preguntas, perdón, de sí, ¿no? Con respuestas cortas. Do I live in a house? Yes, you do. 
Do you live in a house? Yes, I do. Or no, I don't. Do we live in a house? Yes, you do. No, you don't. Solo tengan especial cuidado que cuando pregunto con I, respondo con you. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Si pregunto con you, respondo con I. ¿Sí? Así, si yo digo, miren, yo vivo en una casa. Sí, tú vives en una casa. O no, tú no vives en una casa. ¿Qué? Si pregunto, ¿tú vives en una casa? Uh, sí, yo, yo vivo en una casa. O no, no, yo no vivo en una casa. ¿Qué? Y cuando pregunto con we, digo, ¿nosotros vivimos en una casa? Y me responden, sí, ustedes viven en una casa. O no, ustedes no viven en una casa. ¿Qué? Good and good day, simple, right? Day is day. And Sylvia and Candy, it's plural, right? So again, we say they do, no, they don't. When is third person singular, we say, does he have an apartment? Does she have an apartment? Does it have an apartment? Does my friend, only one is singular, remember? Have an apartment is a common noun. Or does Oscar have an apartment? Oscar is a proper noun. So we are going to use does. And then the answer is with does. Yes, he does. Or no, he doesn't. Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera, right? Any question? Can you make questions? Yes, no question and short answers. Pueden hacer ustedes preguntas de sí, no, y responderlas. Bueno, este ejercicio lo hicimos ayer. Pero aquí les traigo. No, solamente, ¿verdad? Vamos a trabajar en otro, en otro material. Ok. Now let's share the platform. Sigamos con la plataforma entonces. Ok. Permítame que se me quedó trabado esto acá. Regálenme un segundito, vamos a cerrar esto. Ok. Ahora sí. Ahora sí vamos a la plataforma. Ok, very good. Uh, entonces, ya vimos lo que es el vocabulario de una casa y un apartamento, la, los diferentes cuartos, ok. ¿Y cómo se hacen preguntas de sí y no? Y la conversación, my new apartment. Ya vamos a ver un poquito más de eso y vamos a practicar. Pero vamos al, al laboratorio. Ok, listen. You. What do you use with you? Do or does? And what is the verb? Live or lives? So here we have four options, right? One, two. Three, four is it, right? So what is the correct answer? ¿Cuál sería la respuesta correcta? Okay. Good. Igual acabe. No, I doesn't or no, I don't. I live or I lives in a house. Number two. No, 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 no sopecho. No me van a soplar. <laughs> Porque esta es la tarea. Ajá, de, de, David. Oh, oh, decía los, las respuestas en voz alta. Excuse me. Yo, yo las estaba diciendo, ¿no? No, yo, yo. Ah, vaya. No, 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 por favor. No me le dé copia. Por ahí están algunos ya anotando la respuesta, mire. Ok. La jarana nunca ayuda ni alimenta. Ok, good. So, yes, no, yes, no, and short answer, right? Todos estos ejercicios son de preguntas de sí y no y preguntas de... Perdón, y respuestas cortas. ¿Hay alguna duda con esta parte? No, no ya vamos a repasar, no se preocupe. ¿Ok? Y terminamos con, con este video de vocabulario acerca de uh, muebles. ¿Ok? Listen, please, and watch. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for furniture and other household items. Let's get started by listening and repeating the vocabulary. Armchairs. 
stove, curtains, pictures, clock, bed, table, coffee table, microwave oven, refrigerator, lamps, sofa, desk, bookcase, dresser, chairs, mirror, rug, television. Other vocabulary that is important to understand is kitchen, dining room, living room, bedroom. Mm -hmm. And now let's practice using the vocabulary that we just heard by making statements about your kitchen, dining room, living room, and bedroom. For example, my living room has a sofa, a rug, and a television. My dining room has After you complete this exercise, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, okay. So again, right? Look, you have a here. Sorry, uh, and and add post, right? Commentaries, no commentaries. Look at the teacher. When I see no commentaries, then the professor. Cuando no hay comentarios de los alumnos. Okay, but. I know next week I will see some commentary, right? Pero estoy segurísimo que la otra semana si voy a leer aquí algunos comentarios de ustedes, okay? Good. This is the, the platform, right? And um, this is the, the first part, right? The first part of the, of the unit number, of the section, sorry, number two, right? Now we'll share some other material, right? And here we're going to practice. Listen again, please, listen. Unit seven, does it have a view? Page 44, exercise one, snapshot. Listen and practice. House. The house has two floors, a garage and a yard. The first floor has a living room, a dining room, a kitchen, a laundry room, and stairs to the second floor. The second floor has a hall, three bedrooms, and a bathroom. The bedrooms have closets. Apartment. The apartment building has a lobby and an elevator. The apartment has a living room, a kitchen, a dining room, a bedroom, a bathroom, and a closet. Okie dokie. So these are the parts of the house and, and the parts of the apartment, right? So let me start with Sophia. Sophia, uh, what rooms do you have in your house, Sophia? Repeat, teacher. What rooms do you have in your house? Do you have a bedroom? Mm. Two bedrooms or three bedrooms? Uh, two bedrooms. Two bedrooms. Do you have a closet? No. No, no closet. Closet, no. A dining room? A dining room, yes. A, ki a kitchen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A living room. La, a garage. Room. Oh, garage, nice. Mm -hmm. It's a big house. Uh, I imagine. Mm -hmm. uh, and two bedrooms. Okay, this is very important, right? The PP room is very important in the house, right? In your case, two PP rooms, <laughs> two bathrooms. <laughs> okay, <laughs> nice, Sophia, thank you very much. Okay, let me see, uh, Andrea, do you live in a house or in an apartment, Andrea? A house. Is it a big house or a small house? Mm, a small. A small house. But do you have a kitchen in your house? Yes. Okay, I imagine uh, Andrea is cooking all the time <laughs> in the kitchen. Uh, right? no. The chef, the chef. 
<laughs> okay, and how many bedrooms do you have? One, two, three bedrooms? I three bedrooms. Three bedrooms? Oh, it's small. No, it's not, it's not a small house. Now, do you have uh -huh. stairs? Stairs? No. No stairs. A garage? Uh, yes. Yes. A yard? Yes. Oh, good. You see, it's not a small house, Andres. <laughs> I live in an apartment, you know, and so, come on. Uh, apartments are really small, right? Now, uh, let's go to the conversation. Here we have a conversation related to apartments too. So listen to the audio, please listen to the audio. Give me maximize a little bit more. Here, right? Okie dokie. Page 44, exercise two, conversation. My new apartment. Listen and practice. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? It's really nice. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Nice. Do you live downtown? No, I don't. I live near the university. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Okay. A great view of the Listen apartment. Listen right? and practice. Good. Now let's practice uh, the pronunciation. Listen and repeat, please. Microphone off. Apaguemos los micrófonos todos, por favor. Cámara encendida. Quiero ver sus caritas repitiendo. Please. Okay. Listen and repeat. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? It's really nice. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room. A bedroom. A bathroom. And a kitchen. Nice. Do you live downtown? No, I don't. I live near the university. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Good. Now, repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. Guess what? Adivina Guess what? It's like you say, adivina que? Adivina que? Guess what? Apartment. Apartment. That's great. That's great. What's it? What's it? What's it was it was it like what's it like what's it like living room bedroom bath thank you thank you sa 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 okay bath bathroom Kitchen. Downtown. Down. Town. Downtown. University. University. View. View. Building. Building. 
Still there. Okay, do you have questions about vocabulary? Any word that is new for you? Any word that is difficult for you? Alguna palabra que no entiendan? No? Questions? Okay. View. View. Vista. Vista, right? If you go to the planet de renderos, you have a very uh -huh. big view of, of San Salvador, right? View. Uh, okay. Thank you. Sure. Go to um, la, 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 wait, wait, give me a second. Give me a second. Wait, wait. If you go to La Puerta del Cachudo, you have a view of Chilopango Lake, you have a view of San Salvador, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. right? Um, David and Len Eva. Uh -huh, David? Teacher, in the in line, nice. do you like uh, downtown? Downtown. Downtown, el centro, el centro. Yes. Eh, la cuestión es que aparece en, no sé si en la, en la cuestión de la grabación, la pronunciación de do en ese, en ese momento se, se oye como di. Do, do. No, 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 no. Do, do. Do you like do? Do you like it? The thing is that I speak fast, right? But it's do, do. Okay. If you want to listen again, look look at this. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Nice. Do you live downtown? No, I do. You, do you live downtown? No. Do. Downtown. Nice. Do you live downtown? Downtown. Do you live downtown? Do you live downtown? No, I don't. Downtown. Yeah. Downtown. Okay. It's not the. Yeah. Uh, it's not exactly do, right? Or the, but the, the. Do you live? Do you live? Do you live? Do you live downtown? Do you room, do you live? A bedroom, a bathroom. Just give me a second. Vamos a silenciar los micrófonos un ratitito. Que siento interferencia. Y ahora sí, vamos a ver. Una vez más, David. And a kitchen. Nice. Do you live downtown? Nice. Do you live downtown? Yeah, it's clear. Do, do, do. Do you live? Okay. Good. Eva, your question? Yes. Uh, what is building? A building. Uh, edificio. Yes. Construcción. Construcción. Edificio. Right? Okay. Apartment building is an edificio de apartamentos. Apartment building. Yeah? Okay. okay. Thank you. Good. Anytime. Now we're going to practice. Uh, Eva, please, you're going to be Linda. And uh, Jamilet, no sé si puede participar esta noche, Jamilet. O va de transporte. Sí, sí. Teacher, I can't pronunciation can. English. No problem. We're here to practice. Para eso estamos aquí <laughs> para practicar. Practice. Help me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, pro no problem. Ya vamos a poner otra vez. Ustedes, si se equivoca, ahí la voy corrigiendo. No se preocupe. Okay. Eh, okay. Vamos a ver. Eh, Yamilet. No, ¿verdad? Va de, de oyente. Entonces, Vanessa, me va a ayudar. Vanessa, Vanessa, you're Chris. ¿Ok? ¿Quién soy yo? Eh, linda. Eva, Eva, you're Linda. Ok. En, en Vanessa también es Linda. <risa> Pero me va a hacer el rol de Chris. ¿Ok? Vanessa me copia. Vanessa. Vanessa Barquillo. Mi teacher. Presentarse con Otra Vanessa. No, ok. Vanessa García Sánchez. Ah, ok. Yeah. Vanessa va a ser Cris. Y Eva va a ser linda. Ready? One, two, three. Teacher, póngame con una principiante. Ella me va a dar duro. O sea, aquí no es de pelearse, aquí es de pronunciar. ¿no? Pero... Okay. Vaya, vamos, yo, yo le voy a ayudar, vamos a ver. Comencemos con esto, Eva. Guess what? Guess what, ¿ok? Guess what? Come on. Very good. Continue, continue. Okay. I have. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What, what is like? It's really nice. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Nice. Do you live down, down, down? 
No, I don't. I live near the university. That's it, have a new, new view, view. Go. Yes, it does. It has a great view <laughs> of another view. apartment building. <laughs> Okay, let me Finish. see. Commentary for Eva and, and Vanessa's conversation. Very nice. Recollection. Yeah. Okay. Very good. And repeat after me again. What's it what's it like? What's it like? What's it like? What's it like? Uh, it's, este, sonido, like. Miren, este sonido, what's se une con el sonido de it y se pronuncia de una sola forma. Ahorita le respondo, What? Lorena. Deme un segundo. What's it? What's it? ¿Te parece? What's it? What's it? What's it? Pero se pronuncia junto. What's it? What's, What's it? it? What's it like? What's, What's it like? Good. And este, downtown. 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 Down. Okay. No. Down, 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 down. Okay, um, now please, Lorena, your question. Vamos a ver, Lorena, ¿tiene alguna pregunta? No, teacher, I was wrong. Ah, okay. Sorry. Okay. Next conversation, please. Uh, Jenny, Jenny, you're Linda. And Angie, you are Chris. Ready? Yes. Okay, one, two, three, action. Jenny, you begin with West, sorry, West. Guess what? Jenny, no le copio, Jenny. Guess what? Hello, hello. Jenny. Maeda. Sorry, okay, Jenny, come on. You are Linda. And uh, Angie is, your, is going to be Chris, right? One, yes. two, three, action. Guess what? I have a new apartment. And that's great. What, what, what is it like? It's really nice. Is it every week? Well, it has a big living room and bedroom, a bathroom and kitchen. Nice. Do you like? Do you live in downtown? No, I don't. I live near the university. Does it have a? Yes, it. it I have does. a new part. Sorry, continue. Excuse me. Yes, it does. It has, uh, has a great view of another another apartment building. Sorry, oh, teacher. Okay. No, that's okay. That's okay. Good. Don't worry. Listen again. Meant. That's great. Listen. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That Guess what? Huh? You know? That's great. What's it like? What's it like? What's it? What's it like? What's it like? What's it like? It's really nice. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Nice. Do you live downtown? No, I don't. I live near the university. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Okay, thank you very much. Now, one more, one more couple, right? Una pareja más. Let me see, Balmore. Sorry, Balmore, you're going to, you're going to be Linda, right? And uh, uh, David, you're going to be Chris. Ready? One, two, three, action. Balmore, presentarse a Cabina.
Ok, so we're going to do two things, right? Vamos a hacer dos cosas, entonces. David, you're going to be Linda. And uh, Francisco, Juan Francisco, you're going to be Chris. Después de okay, la conversación, vamos, okay. a, vamos a presentar a... Ah, no, perdón, es, es Oscar Francisco el que no se ha presentado. Perdón, no he dicho nada. Ok, ready? One, two, three. Guess what? I have a new apartment. Day, day, day. What is it like? It's really nice. It's, it's very big. Well, it is a big living room and bedroom and bathroom and a kitchen. Nice. Do you like downtown? No, I don't. I don't. I live near the university. Do this uh, have a bit? Yes, I do. I have a great view of another mm -hmm. apartment building. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And look at this. Does it have a view? Does it? Does it? Does, does it? it uh, does, have does it? Okay. Does it? Does it? Does it? Okay. Does, 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 does it? Does it have a view? And then you say, yes, it does. It has, right? Thank you very much, David and Francisco. Now, Catherine, he said, the last participation. Catherine, you are Linda. Okay. And Kenya, you are Chris. Um, uh, okay. Uh, this, this what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What is like? It's really nice. It is very big. Uh, well, it has a big living room, a bedroom, a bathroom, um, kitchen. Nice. Do you live downtown? Uh, no, I don't live near the university. Does it have a view? Uh, yes, it don't. It does in a hot great view of a nocturnal apartment. A uh, thing. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. So look at this. It says nice, right? Nice. Apartment building, apartment building, right? Downtown, downtown. And this is, yo creo que esta noche van a soñar con esta pregunta. What's it like? What's it like? Van a estar a medianoche. No, no, no. What's it like? Okay. Okay. What's it? What's it? It's like the T, the S, look, T, S. What's, what's, only what? What? Ahora agreguemos la, la S. What's, what's, y luego it, it. Veamos. What's it? What's it? What's it like? What's it like? What's it like? What's it like? That's great. What's it like? It's really nice. Okay, good. Now let's continue. Let's continue with the grammar. We're going to see the grammar here. Listen, please. Page 45, exercise three. Grammar focus. Simple present short answers. Do you live in an apartment? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do the bedrooms have windows? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Does Chris live in a house? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Does the house have a yard? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Okay, so you can see the structure here, right? The auxiliary, the subject, and the verb, right? Y cuando es tercera persona, en lugar de decir do, vamos a decir das. Chris, Chris es una sola persona, es un él, o puede ser una ella. Does Catherine live in a house? Yes, she does. She does, sorry. In this case, oh no, she doesn't, right? Does the house, meaning? La casa es una sola casa y aquí bedroom son varios. Entonces con bedrooms, aunque no sean personas, pero vamos a decir do. 
y en la casa, pues, es solo una casa o no sé. Nah, ¿Ok? Pues vamos a hacer estos ejercicios rapidito. Eh, yo les pensaba escribir uno por uno, pero no nos va a quedar tiempo. Así que vamos a hacerlo así, al pulso, ¿verdad? Rapidito. So, let me see. Uh, do you live in an apartment? Let me see. Luis, Luis Ernesto, please. No, I... No, I do. Mm, no lo sé, Rick. No hay. Uh, the question is, do you live in, in an apartment? apartment. Uh -huh. No, uh, I no, no, I doesn't. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. Excuse me. I, I, no, I no, confuse. No, no, no. Please. Okay. Please, excuse me. Mamá diga, disculpe. No, no, no. El proceso aquí es así. Mire, Luis, así vamos a aprender. Nos equivocamos, okay. corregimos y luego seguimos. Y a la próxima tratamos de ya no repetir el error, ¿sí? Así es que, por favor, no se disculpen. Tranquilos. <ríe> Aquí estamos okay. en confianza. Estamos en casa, entre thank amigos, you. ¿verdad? Thank you, thank you. Ok. Now, uh, no, I don't. I... I have or I live? I, I have. I have in a house. Mm. I have in a house. I have or I live? I, uh, let me, I live, I live in a house. Okay, very good. Live. I live in a house. Correct. Now, let's go to Linda. Uh, Margarita, please. Uh, no, Margarita no está con nosotros ahora, ¿verdad? Uh, Mirna, so Mirna. Next question, okay. Mirna. Does it has has or have? Oh, have a yard. Yes. Does it have a yard? Yes, it. It. Do. Mm, no lo sé, Rick. He, she, and it. It does. It yes, does. It does. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> very good. Natalie, please. That sounds nice. Um, Dustin. Does does you? Mm, no, no, no. Sorry, sorry. Do. Do do you? Uh, live. Do you live alone? Vivi solito. Do you live alone? Okay, thank you. And he says, "Do you live alone? Vive solo? No. I don't. No, I don't. I live." With my family. Excellent. Also, I live with my family. Good. Next question. Eh, ahora sí, Oscar. Oscar Francisco. Does or do? Oscar. In English, you say Oscar. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. My microphone is off. Okay, uh, good. Do. Do you, do, do you, you have or do you live? Do you have any brothers or? Do you have any brothers or sisters? Yes, or sister. I, yes, I do. Yes, I do. I have four sisters. Excellent, also Oscar, thank you. Thank you. Eh, Oscar, lo veo bien tranquilito ahí en la maca, que chivo, ¿verdad? <laughs> where do you live, yes. where, where do you live? I live in San Miguel. San Miguel, ah, Aguila, Aguila, yo, yo le voy a la alianza, yo le voy a la alianza, somos algo aquí en San Salvador, pero está bien, buen equipo ahí. No, Aguila, Aguila, Aguila. 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 estaba Pachito el río. Te vio el FAS. Ah, no, 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 no. ¿Qué pasó? Occident. Bueno, bueno, ganaron, está bien, dejémoslo, ya los vamos a alcanzar, son los dos copas, no faltan. Ya, ya se ha ganado ocho en diez años, ¿va? así que ya rápido el vamos a estar. Ok, digamos que sí. Eh, welcome to the class. Welcome to the class, Oscar. Bienvenido a clase. Uy, perdón. Thank you. Thank you. Que aquí estoy con la otra reunión. Ok, now, eh, Saúl, please. Uh, permítame que creo que me bajé mucho aquí. 
Ok, aquí, Linda. ¿Dónde dice Linda? Ajá, Saúl. Do, do you or that? Ajá, do you? Your own bedroom quiere decir tu propio cuarto. Do you have your own bedroom? Ok, very good. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Thank you very much. Eh, perdón para Vanessa, eh, Lorena y María, José, mañana les voy a preguntar, ¿verdad? Pero a veces no alcanza el tiempo para preguntarle a todos. Solo voy a preguntar. No, no. Ah, Mañana la lista comienza de abajo hacia arriba. Sí, permítame, ya vamos hacia arriba. Así voy a comenzar la lista. Mire. It's okay, teacher. <risa> ok. A felices que no participaron, ¿verdad? <risa> ok. Uh, a on, propio. Propio, uh, Sofía, own quiere decir propio. Por ejemplo, yo digo, I have my own car. Yo tengo mi propio carro. Eh, el celular, ¿verdad? I have my own cell phone. Tengo mi propio celular, ¿verdad? No he prestado. Uh, own. <laughs> own, my own, right? Ok, good. Listen to the audio, please. Vamos a escuchar el audio acá. Para practicar el vocabulario y terminamos la clase. Page 46, exercise 5, word power. Furniture. Part A. Listen and practice. Armchairs. Stove. Curtains. Pictures. Bed. Table. Coffee table. Microwave oven. Refrigerator. Lamps. Sofa. Desk, bookcase, dresser, chairs, mirror, rug, TV, cupboards. Cupboards, cupboards. It's como chinero, ¿verdad? Cupboards. Okay, good. And look at these armchairs, what we say, el sofá, pero... Eh, bueno, en los salvadoreños tenemos dos clases de sofá, uno grandote y uno chiquito, no solo cabe uno. Pero en inglés decimos arm chair, arm porque es los brazos, ¿no? entonces ponemos los brazos, decimos arm chair. Y cocina, nosotros cuando decimos, ah, this is the kitchen, kitchen, no, 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 it's stove, stove, right? Para ellos es estufa, ¿verdad? Estufa, sí, o cocina también, ¿verdad? Pero nosotros decimos al cuarto donde está la cocina, le decimos cocina. Y a la estufa le decimos cocina también nosotros, entonces cocina, cocina. Pero en inglés no, en inglés es kitchen y stove, right? Kitchen and stove. Y luego esta es la pronunciación, miren, curtains, mm, 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 curtains, curtains, right? Muy bien. Luego tenemos, eh, solamente eso sería, ¿verdad? Chairs, cupboards, que es el, el chinero. Yo creo el que el microondas sería la cuestión de la palabra más difícil ahí. ¿De verdad? Micro, micro, micro. Micro, güey. Ah, micro. micro y onda o, o hola. Si ustedes quieren decir hola, wave. Más, ¿verdad? Ajá. Wave, wave. wave. Microwave oven. Oven. Ok. Ok, guys. Thank you very much. I hope to see you tomorrow. Voy a intentar mandarles esta noche los archivos. Ahí me ponen los que no pudieron abrir, por favor. Tomorrow, tomorrow, I'm sorry, teacher. No, para mañana tal vez le envío los archivos, pero no hay clase, sino que hasta el 5, el lunes 5. Monday. Me agregó por teacher. ¿Hm? Ah, sí, no, no, es que yo no tengo acceso al grupo. Voy a mandar un mensaje para que otros compañeros lo agreguen, ¿ok, Francisco? Ok, ok. Espero okay. que Thank you, teacher. Ahí le puse ya, aquí le puse ya de la nota. Uh, preguntar ahí okay. al grupo para que lo agreguen. ¿sí? Have a good night, everybody. Okay. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye. 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 bye.